that's a, I, I think we're hiking right there. And then when she comes home from work, she never talks about the celebrity guest. She always talks about that special person that was in this chair that really affected her and touched her because they did something amazing for, for other people. And that's what she talks about. You started as a model and now you're married to a cover girl. Tell me about that. <laughs> Okay, so these are some questions from viewers because okay. they, they want to ask you, uh, they, well, Lauren O'Brien from Atlanta, Georgia wants to know if we work out together. Uh, we walk together. We walk uh, in Santa Barbara a lot. We do a lot of hiking, which mm -hmm. is really nice because we can get to chat and walk. And yes. It's, it's much harder to work out together and walk around our neighborhood because there are tour buses everywhere. So. You know, it'd be kind of weird for. But it's us nice. To we've walk we've around. stopped and taken pictures, and the tour buses stopped. We have. We've been friendly with the tour buses. We have. And actually, the other day I was driving home, and I could see where we live. Where I was at the the light, and there was a tour bus, and I could hear really generous. So I thought, I wonder what they're saying. So I rolled down the window, and over the PA, that loudspeaker thing, uh, the, the the guy driving said. Is that you, Portia? Like, you could see straight through that. <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah, it is. And he said, I was just saying that Ellen owns that building, which we don't, but I, it was Are, just hilarious. So now they think we own the building? We don't just live yeah. in it? We own the building? Now we own a building. Wow. Which is great. We <laughs> should collect rent from those people. That's really embarrassing, though. Gwen Raglan from Spokane, Washington wants to know, which one of us is a better driver? And I think we both know. Well, here's the thing. If you ever let me drive, I, I think <laughs> that you would discover that I am actually the better driver. I have let she you. She drives so fast. I, I can't even tell you. I drive fast, but very safely. She, yes. She, she's a very good driver, but not everybody else on the road is That's as why good I'm as always you, looking at other people to make sure they see that I'm coming. So frightening. <laughs> I drive very, very safe. I'm always looking in front of me. I'm checking mirrors. I'm, you. Uh, if you ever are on the freeway and you see, you think you see something shoot by you, it's her. No. I'm you. That is so fast. That's not, that's not true. It's just compared to how driver. slow you drive, you think I'm that feels fast. <laughs> Be honest. I do drive very it. slowly. I'm, I drive like you, a granny. You drive slow and you can only do one thing at a time. You can oh. only focus on driving. So <laughs> that's why. Really? Right? Yeah. Yes, it's true. I'm not a right. great multitasker. You know, when I've Gosh. let you drive is when I'm sick, remember? That's true. <laughs> sick and grumpy about being sick. Yeah. It's not a good well, combination. Well, no one wants to be sick. No. You're, of course, you're grumpy. Oh, um, terrible. Laura Zeskli from, see, these are the, you know how I'm always struggling? Where is this in Hungary? Say that word. <laughs> Say that word. Um, magia, 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 magia Ragiris, so, Hungary. Hungary. She wants to know uh, how you're enjoying Twitter. Oh, I love Twitter. You just joined Twitter. I, yeah, like three weeks ago, I joined Twitter. And the first week, I just had my head in my phone. Like, I couldn't do anything other than be on Twitter. I actually refer to it as the week I lost to Twitter. Um, was the first week. But um, so I'm calming down a little bit now. But, but the first couple of days were so exciting because I got some followers, like, straight off the bat, which was great. And um, remember when I told you that first weekend, I said, baby, I've got 32,000 followers. You know what you said to me? Do you remember? I think I do. Yeah, you said, oh, that's great, honey. I have 32 million. <laughs> Guess how many I have now? I don't know, point, point 0.8, 32? 33 million. Oh. Yeah. Well, but you've I gone have up 70 too. now. Now you have 70. Maybe thousand. Point one thousand. So that's good. People should follow Portia because she's funny and, and clever, and you... Uh, and I tweet out photos of her when you, she's not looking. You're constantly <laughs> taking pictures of me. I turn around, and I'm like, what are you doing? And you're tweeting out pictures of my back. Um, it's true. All right. Thank you for agreeing to doing this. It is a serious interview, so don't expect any special treatment because you're my wife, okay? Sure. Great. Yeah. Portia de Rossi, am I saying that right? Yes, you are. Great, great. Obviously, we're connected. Sure. I mean, we're married. We've been married almost 10 years now, right? Uh, so, no, but... Well, married six, together 10. Together for almost 10, yeah. Yes. Um, so we know each other pretty well. I hope so, yeah. yeah. So we know what each other is thinking. So on the count of three, we're going to say what we're thinking, OK? OK. One, two, three, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie. Yes, pumpkin pie. Right. 
See? Yep. You started as a model, and now you're married to a cover girl. Tell me about that. <laughs> um, I have good taste. <laughs> the name of your book, which is very personal, it's a very, very personal story, yeah. is Unbearable Lightness. Yes. Why do you leave your socks by the edge of the bed all the time? <laughs> You know how you just take things off at night and then just leave them on the edge of the bed? Your nightgown or socks or something like that? Well, because then I'd, I'd have to walk back to the closet after I took my socks off before That's a good question. Here's the reason. She's, she's always taking pictures of me and I'm always taking pictures of her. This is one that you took. I actually really love this picture. She took a picture of Charlie, my cat, that I'm in love with. Was I was laying out on the lounge chair at... <laughs> And she decided to shield my eyes from the sun. Yes. Because I took my hat off, and it was really sweet of her. So Portia took that picture. Yeah, because she's oh so helpful and never annoying. I mean, this cat like wakes you up all night long, meowing in your face. She's I mean, vocal. She's, she's a vocal very vocal, cat. And, and she scratches to get under the. She likes to. And... What she likes to do is, mm -hmm. she needs to have me spoon her. So until I lift the covers up, and she gets right in there, she will not be happy. So she's like, meow, in my face. And mine, all night long. Right, but you wouldn't mind it if Augie did that to you because you're in love with Augie. Well, but Augie, I mean, he's he's perfect and. Look, look at, at him. And look uh, at Charlie. You're ignoring her and hugging him. <laughs> but, but he's so, and he snores, but just very lightly. He snores and he, he sleeps with his tongue hanging out of his mouth, too. Yes, it's he really does. It's really cute. So here's what, here's what I uh, do, and I'm, I, I take pictures of Portia all the time because, oh, you know, she's pretty. And so I, I'll Is just look why? over and I have my phone and I'll just go, oh, that's a good picture. You're just pretty. And I'll just take a picture. But sometimes... She has hair, because her hair is very, very thick, so there are hairstyles that occur that I just go, I have to take a picture of this. So I'm going to show a bunch of the... This is the first one I'd like to share. <laughs> That's a... I, I think we're hiking right there. All right, here's another one. Look at that. That's, oh, my God! That's just waking up in the morning, because I guess it was a night before you had a style or something. <laughs> it, all right, here's another one. There's a, that's the back that's of her head. That's post-massage, That's post-massage. Look at the front. This, that's the back. There's the front. <laughs> All right, so here's, come on. There's more. Here's another one. That's a, I mean, she's just sitting there. I have to take a picture when her, she has no idea her hair looks like that. What else do I have? Uh, that, oh, no. oh, you were sick. sick. No, you were sick there. You can tell. That's awful. You were sick. And then that was in Africa. Well, I didn't have a hair. But then you like to do that a lot. I took another picture, and you take to you always like to cover your head, and it's cute. Well, and then the last one I have is you were bored. <laughs> That's okay, actually a I necklace. I can explain that. It was a necklace around, my, and I put it on my face because I was it, it relaxed me. No, I, because I, you were bored. Uh, I said, I was bored. I just walked in the room, and she's laying like that. I said, "What are you doing?" She goes, "I'm bored." And I'm like, "So you just put your necklace on your so?" By the way, it's like. I am just sitting on a sofa watching TV, and I see this phone just kind of. Yep. I mean, she takes see, pictures constantly. And it came in handy. Look at that. For Everyone you. Enjoyed it. Okay. You know there's gonna... something called Instagram. Yeah. I'll get you back. Uh, bring it on. I swear to God. Bring it on. I can't believe that. Well, I know you better than anyone. I yeah. think you'd agree. Yes, you do. You know yeah. me better than anyone. Better than anyone. And there are certain things that I think other people should know about. Like, for example, this woman never reads her own press, ever. She just doesn't, I, I read it for her sometimes, but she never reads it. What else? Uh, she has no idea how many awards she's won. She doesn't even care to tell me when she's nominated for something, <laughs> ever. And then when she comes home from work, she never talks about the celebrity guest. She always talks about that special person that was in this chair that, really affected her and touched her because they did something amazing for, for other people. And that's what she talks about. It's true. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It is true. Yeah. Yeah. And then think about what it else? like that. Um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, well, I, I want to say, because, you know, obviously, it's, it's weird to interview her because I know everything about her, so to ask questions is silly. But this, this is really, uh, you um, came into my life on the second season of yeah. this show. We've yeah. been together for 17 years. And a half. And, um, <laughs> so, and a half. Yeah. Um, so, so with this show ending, you know, it's actually, you know, a big thing for both yeah. of us because yeah. we've both, you've watched me go through everything with this yeah. show. But I, I learned today, that, which I didn't know, there's a story of watching me the first show oh, on the yeah, first yeah, yeah. season. Yeah, so, you know, I was an actress and I was closeted and uh, Ellen was kind of like the litmus test for for young actors in Hollywood, because we just, you know, her success meant so much to us. It kind of meant, can I be authentic and honest and still be able to pay the rent, you know? So um, I remember watching the first episode of this show, standing the entire time. And I remember, I was alone, I remember saying out loud to the TV, she did it. And I, <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, you could just feel the magic. Oh my gosh, I'm emotional already. That's terrible. No, but you, could, you can, you can feel the magic in the show. And I just knew that it was gonna be around for as long as you wanted it to be. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't know that that's how you watched the show. I didn't know you didn't have furniture then, but <laughs> I, um, <laughs> but I mean, I think what's amazing too is, is that, um, since we've been together, I mean, many things have changed. I mean, you, you came out basically by just being with me. That was your outing. Like, yeah. just being with me uh, yeah. outed you as, a, as an actress. Um, but uh, your, your story about telling your grandmother that, that yeah. you were with me is a beautiful story that I would love you to share with them. Yeah, well, my grandma meant everything to me. We were actually born on the same day, and she was so special to me. And she was a huge fan of Ellen. She loved the, the, the sitcom. In Australia. In Australia, yeah. Uh, loved her sitcom, wouldn't miss an episode until the episode where she came out. Now, I know I'm gay at this point, and I love my gran. And the minute that Ellen came out, she refused to watch the show. In fact, if a commercial for her show came on, she would change the channel and say, that disgusting woman. So that didn't <laughs> bode well. <laughs> for me and then I moved to LA and I started my own career and, uh, and of course I got together with Ellen and I came home to see my family in Australia and I sat by Grant's chair at her feet and she said to me, are you seeing anyone special? Now at this point my mom was supposed to have told Grant <laughs> that I was with Ellen so, and she knew that we lived together. And I said, Gran, I'm with Ellen. And she said, Alan? Who's Alan? She's Australian. Help, tell, tell everybody how old she is at this point. She's 99 at this point. And, uh, and I said, yeah, I mean, you, you, you knew that I lived with Ellen. And she said, yes, and all this time I was worried that that lesbian was hitting on my granddaughter. <laughs> right? So then she literally puts her head in her hands for 20 seconds or 30 seconds silent, and I thought, that's it. I've killed my grandma. She's just gonna literally fall out. I really thought that I did, and she just looked at me and she goes, well, I love you just the same. Yeah. 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 And it, it, that was a beautiful thing for someone at that age to have such strong feelings yeah. and then just say, well, and she just thought about it, I love you just the same. Yep. Um, her mother, uh, Maggie, had been taking care of her, but it got to the point where she couldn't take care of her anymore, so we put her in the best yeah. um, home care that we could, we could provide for her, and she died at 101? Three. 103? Mm. Really? She was 103? Yeah. She died at 103 with our wedding picture next to her bed. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing.